Women's Health Goulburn Northeast are here to talk about the socio-ecological model. The levels of the socio-ecological model are societal, organisational and community, system and institutional, individual relationship. The theory of this model is that behaviours both shape and are shaped by the social environment. These are the norms, structures and practices that reinforce gender equity. Here we can see how all the levels of the socio-ecological model overlap with one another. Social norms exist within each complex level of the model, from the individual level through to the societal level, each impacting and being impacted on by the others. Now that you've seen the model, I'll explain what each level means in a little more detail. At the societal level, we see the broader messages about the dominant social norms that we might receive through printed media, social media or on television. An example might be women are caregivers and belong at home with the children. At the organisational and community level are the rules in settings such as schools, workplaces and neighbourhoods. An example might be girls are required to wear skirts at the local high school as part of their uniform. At the system institutional level are the legislations and policies in place that address or do not address a gender imbalance. An example might be the workplace having action plans on gender equity per the requirements of the Gender Equality Act. At the individual relationship level are the biological and personal history factors such as adhering to rigid gender roles and identities. An example might be, my grandmother and mother stayed at home to look after the children and cook three meals a day, so I must do the same. Let's recap by summarising each of the different levels of the socio-ecological model along with the example provided. At the societal level, we see dominant social norms such as women are caregivers and belong at home with the children. At the organisational community level are the rules, such as girls having to wear skirts at school. The system institutional level includes legislation and policies, such as having action plans on gender equity. And at the individual relationship level are the biological and personal history factors such as adhering to rigid gender roles and identities. An example is, my grandmother and mother were stay-at-home mums, so I must be one also. And now we have a better understanding about how all the levels of the socio-ecological model are connected, along with norms, practices and structures to support our work in gender equity.